early start. We are taking Nicholas to his new home. Yeah, you can get out. Huh? Let's see how it goes with the arranged marriage. She's beautiful. I'm very happy with this and I think these two are going to be lifelong mates. Hello, stinky bum! Hey, da, da, da. So she's definitely changed her behavior. Uh, I think she's a little bit more on edge because of her cub. Just seeing her ficky. I'm optimistic that uh, these guys are going to do okay. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Hi everybody, um, we're here today. I'm just driving in. We're going to be moving uh, the black leopards around. Uh, two groups of black leopards. It's Duke and Khan, and we're going to be swapping them with Kyle and Nikita. Um, many of you have been watching the, the moving videos and um, are loving them and have expressed a lot of interest in seeing the black leopards. So today, kind of dedicating this video entirely to the relocation um, of the, the, the two groups of black leopards. So leopards are interesting animals. They, they can be tricky at times. Um, I, I find them um, very fun to work with um, in the sense that you know, they keep you on your toes and they're very alert. Um, so, you know, hopefully it all goes well today. We'll see. Sometimes Cole can be a little bit cranky, but uh, that's to be expected. He's uh, 17 years old, so he's getting he's getting on in life. So uh, stick around for today's video. I hope you enjoy it and uh, keep those questions coming. Um, certainly for the hashtag Ask Meg, we've had some really good questions from you guys. Uh, love sitting there and answering them as best I can um, and I think it keeps the conversation going and it uh, helps to um, keep the keep the awareness out there and and yeah the more we talk about it the more we can uh, come up with solutions so um, keep them coming and uh, hope you enjoy today's video Right in, close, close. Fairly? Yeah. Cole, you got my finger there. Nice one. Yeah, right through. Yeah. See how quick leopards are? This is your quick call. Yeah. It's your favorite. Yeah. Your favorite. Look. Favorite pulchards. Yeah. Yeah. Favorite pulchards. Yeah. Yeah. No, Nikita, you've really been a cow. He doesn't like the. He likes the no, he likes the sauce, not the fish. <laughs> I don't think uh, it's going to work, but let, let's just dem demo, show him that loading is not a, a problem. You can use it as training. Okay. 
I feel like I'm in my arm, arm hook now too. There you go, boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. All right, guys, so that is that. I think what we're going to have to do is wait a few days until the false east just subsides and then we can resume. Sure, right, guys, so uh, moving Kyle and Akita didn't go quite according to plan. Um, Actually, I think more from Nikita's side than from Cole's side. And um, what I was trying to explain to the volunteers is that when the leopards or the other animals are on these contraceptive implants, what happens is they tend to cyclically give off this, uh, what appears to be a false estrus. And so the males will immediately think, oh, okay. This lady's going to, about to come into Eastridge, so let me um, sit up and take note. And so uh, Nikita's showing these signs, and she's not wanting to to, to um, go after the food. And Nicole is going, and Cole is going. Okay, I'm going to have a piece of that when she comes into full blown Eastridge. So not cooperative. Um, don't want to load. We can't force them to load, which is also um, their choice and what we will just have to do is come back in another um i say a few days and try again mm. hello con these two guys are a little bit more well behaved than old uh, Carl and Nikita, eh? Sorry we didn't get to move today, but uh, unfortunately Carl and Nikita were naughty, so we're gonna have to just wait a few days So there we have it guys, you can see the Almost like the bronzy dark brown gingery color that uh, takes the place of the normal yellow on a normal coloration on the leopard and the <clears throat> the melanism is it's it's in the leopard um, it's actually a recessive gene um, in the black jaguar it's actually a dominant gene that uh, takes takes place and these guys um, are seen to be um, it's a it's a favorable um, selection because in more densely forested areas um, here comes Juki stalking. In more densely forested uh, areas, the black seems to um, obviously be an advantage and help help the leopard rather than the normal coloration. So in some parts of India, you're going to find that uh, you're going to be seeing a few more black leopards than you are uh, normal colored leopards. So come, come, Juki, come, come. So unfortunately guys, I think um, that's where we're going to have to leave it today with uh, the leopards. Uh, uh, leopards also are not like lions. Uh, people are often ask me behaviorally, what are the leopards like? And I'll say that, you know, they, it's an antisocial cat. So unlike the lions that are always happy for you to be lying on top of them and lying amongst them, sometimes the leopards, they'll come up and they'll say hello. They'll give you a nice greeting. Um, lick you and and then they'll go off into the bush and and uh, want to be left alone and I think it's up to you to understand that if they don't want to be around because uh, they're going to take some time out then uh, I think you need to respect that and not try and follow them that old uh, Dukey here has decided that he's quite happy to come and sit down with me and uh, so that's that's cool. I mean, if they do do that, that's wonderful. But he'll probably sit here for a few minutes and then he'll decide, okay, he's had enough or that he cannot uh, get something from me. Um, and then he'll, he'll move off. So guys, stick around for part two, which should be coming up soon um, on the leopard move. Hopefully the leopard move doesn't become a six-week 
uh, episode. And uh, yeah, I think once once they're in the right frame of mind, we will be able to move them without a hiccup. So thanks for watching so far, guys. Stay tuned. And uh, until next time, ciao.